I'd like to think I don't do so much, but that's not the truth. The truth is I wear about 40 million different hats a day. <laughs> I am a mom, a wife, and because my mom also lives close by, I am a daughter. I'm an ate, friend, colleague, workmate. But I also do acting and hosting at the same time. I also have uh, a couple of businesses that I have to check on every day. You know, I like to think it's actually a success because every morning I wake up and I have inner peace. I'm very happy. I feel very satisfied with how things are between me and my family and my work. I think it's all about balance. You know, being able to do several things at a time and yet not allow also other aspects of your life to suffer. So, yun ang definition ko of a successful life. I guess the biggest challenge really for me is to be able to, you know, balance everything out on a day-to-day -day basis. Because much as I want to think na balancing balancing buhay ko, depende pa rin yun, di ba? So, we have a business and... Uh, we have, of course, my family and my work. Sobrang daming nangyayari sa araw ko eh. But ako talaga, I take my time to just breathe a little. I feel like it's very important for us to actually just stop. And you know, realize just how blessed you are. And recenter yourself. I like to breathe a little by doing things that I love. Like, I love to cook. Pag nasa kusina ako, parang feeling ko, ako yung Reyna. Alam mo yun, yun? Parang, I can do all things in my kitchen. And ang pinakamasarap pa doon is that yung nakikita mo na magugusan ng family mo, yung niluto mo. I also breathe a little by taking dance lessons. I've been going to G4s. Parang, because I, I felt na parang, okay, this is something that I don't know how to do. And just because you're aging or just because you're getting older doesn't mean you're not allowed to do these things na parang mga teenagers lang ba or mga bata lang bang pwedeng gumawa nito or a certain type of person lang pwedeng gumawa I feel that we should always break the mold and you know do something that excites us and that's how I breathe a little Hi everyone this is Dimples Romana and I use Aerotics Contact In the digital age, screens are everywhere. They help us to work more efficiently, provide endless entertainment options, and offer us a window to the world. Big screens, small screens, lots of screens. It feels like we're on screens 24-7, but our eyes pay a price for all that screen time. It's called digital eye strain. You've probably never heard of digital eye strain, but it's real, and it might be affecting how you work how you play, and even how you live. There are about 330 million people globally that have dry eye, and only 64% realize that dry eye can stem from digital eye strain. A lot of people blink 15 to 18 times per minute in their daily life. But when you're using a digital device, that can drop down to five to six times per minute. You start rubbing your eyes, your neck starts to hurt, you get headaches, and all of those factors uh, total into digital eye strain. And there are some simple solutions uh, to address digital eye strain. A comfortable environment, the positioning of your chair to make it comfortable, making sure that the screen is just below your eye level, the use of artificial tears, and the most important one is actually to be able to take a break and rest your eyes away from the screen. I'm in front of my screen pretty much all day, every day. If I start off on a project in the morning, let's say, I'm in front of my computer making sure that every single statement is perfect. I'm staring at the screen so intently, and I even notice that I start leaning closer and closer, so by the end of the day, I am probably less than 12 inches away from my screen. My eyes start to get itchy, and they start to water and tear up and get dry, and I start blinking more, and I start itching, very watery and red. Once I do leave for work, I cannot drive without my glasses because I feel that things are blurred. As a video editor, I depend on my eyes for a living. Sometimes that means I'm in front of a screen for 14 hours at a time. I deal with high definition images, so I need to keep a sharp focus, which gets harder after a long day. Once my eyes start to feel fatigued, I often get blurry vision or headaches, and I have to rest my eyes. We have one mission to create products that help people see better. And we offer a number of eye care solutions to manage symptoms of digital eye strain. Our screens let us work more, 
play more, live more. But if you're experiencing digital eye strain, it's time to talk to your doctor. Solutions are available. You'll be glad you did. For more information about our product, please visit our website. I like to think I don't do so much, but that's not the truth. The truth is I wear about 40 million different hats a day. <laughs> I am a mom, a wife, and because my mom also lives close by, I am a daughter. I'm an ate, friend, colleague, workmate, but I also do acting and hosting at the same time. I also have uh, a couple of businesses that I have to check on every day. to think it's actually a success because every morning I wake up and I have inner peace I'm very happy I feel very satisfied with how things are between me and my family and my work I think it's all about balance you know being able to do several things at a time and yet not allow also other aspects of your life to suffer so you know definition of a successful life I guess the biggest challenge really for me is to be able to, you know, balance everything out on a day-to-day -day basis. Because much as I want to think that balancing, balancing buhay ko, depende pa rin yun, di ba? So we have a business and uh, we have, of course, my family and my work. Sobrang daming nangyayari sa araw ko eh. But ako talaga, I take my time to just breathe a little. I feel like it's very important for us to actually just stop. And you know, realize just how blessed you are and recenter yourself. I like to breathe a little by doing things that I love. Like, I love to cook. Pag nasa kusina ako, parang feeling ko, ako yung reina. <laughs> parang, I can do all things in my kitchen. And ang pinakamasarap pa doon is that yung nakikita mo na magugusta ng family mo, yung niluto. I also breathe a little by taking dance lessons. I've been going to G4s. Parang, because I, I felt na parang, okay, this is something that I don't know how to do. And just because you're aging or just because you're getting older doesn't mean you're not allowed to do these things. Na parang mga teenagers lang ba, or mga bata lang bang pwedeng gumawa nito, or a certain type of person lang pwedeng gumawa. I feel that we should always break the mold and, you know, do something that excites us. And that's how I breathe a little. Hi everyone, this is Dimples Romana and I use Aerotics Contact Lens. Alright. Good morning, A people. Welcome to another Level Up session. This time, 
on digital eye strain, knowing what is computer vision syndrome or what uh, also known as CVS. Okay, so we hope you're ready for today's session as we will discuss what CVS and all the important information you need to know about it. Um, in this one, our session, know the signs and symptoms of CVS, what causes dry eyes, and tips on how to better take care of your eyes. Okay, so later we have special prize, prizes from our guest partners, so please stay tuned. And to introduce our guest speaker for today, let me call on Mike Vito Cruz of Alcon Laboratories. Hi, Mike. Hello. Uh, good morning. Can you hear me clearly? Yep. yep. All right. Okay. So, hello, everyone. Thank you for allowing us to be with you today. I believe we are in YouTube Live. So this is our first time to, to present in StreamYard and YouTube. So uh, we're excited to finish this lecture uh, without interruptions, no? So welcome to your lecture on dry eye. I am Mike, uh, your partner moderator for today's webinar. And with me are my colleagues from Alcon and CME Partners. Special thanks to Ms. Jonah of Alcon for linking us to your office and making this possible. So for our participants, uh, because in the end of this lecture, we'll have some questions in the form of a game for you to answer. Siyempre, pag may game, merong quiz, meron tayong prizes. In order for you to let us know that your keyboards are functioning and is game ready, May we request you to please type in the comment section the letter S. Please type the, com the letter S in the comment section. So yung mga nasa YouTube live, uh, please type in letter S. I see some response, Mr. S Sammy Dave Santos, Miss. Mariel Duenas from Crisia Liante. I see some responses. So yan, mukhang game ready na kayo. As we wait for other participants to come in, so we know that your keyboards are functioning. Now, what we are going to talk about is quite important because it affects many of us with the increasing screen time and multiple use of gadgets devices by almost everyone. Siyempre, cellphone, lahat, nandiyan na. Lagi tayong nakatutok sa cellphones, sa screens. Prevalence of dry eye has been growing exponentially. We are seeing a concern on dry eye impacting our quality of life. And of course, yung daily activities natin like reading, watching TV, driving, doing your groceries, especially that now that most of us are working from home. So online na rin, pati yung groceries natin, and students are doing online classes. Because of that, uh, to tell us more about dry eye and compu computer syndrome, we are fortunate to have a well-respected speaker in the field of optometry. Our speaker is a graduate of Central Escolar University, Manila, Philippines, with magna cum laude honors garnering third place in the optometry licensure exam. She receives several awards in the sector of professional practice and millennial sight healer. She also garnered a certificate in advanced contalences given by the Australian College of Optometry. She is currently involved in the annual summary of current trends of contact lens prescribing published in contact lens spectrum. She has also been receiving lectures and posters both in local and international conferences. And recently, she has been involved in several live sessions in the so social media. Yes, in Facebook and other social media platforms in collaboration with renowned vloggers and media personalities. And is celebrating her birthday on Friday. Is it that fabulous? Advance happy birthday, Dr. Jana. Without further ado, let us all welcome our Professional Affairs Manager, Dr. Jeanette Romualdez. Uh -oh. Hi, Mike. Thank you very much. Nakabinuking mo naman ang aking birthday. 
Thank you very much. And uh, welcome to everybody. Welcome, uh, Erica, and welcome to the uh, Aboitis, one Aboitis. So it is my uh, honor to be here and privilege and uh, to talk to you about this relevant topic about computer vision syndrome. So Sigurd, before I start, now let me just, I want to get a, a feel of who are my target, who are my audience. Now. So can you please write in the comment box? Um, your age. So maybe not really age, no? So depende ba ayon yung age. Ganun na lang, generation na lang. Are you a silent, uh, are you a baby boomer, which is between 1946 to 64? Are you a millennial, uh, which is 1980 to 1994? Are you a uh, Gen X uh, or a Gen Z, I should say, 1995 to 2012? So if you're not afraid to tell me your age, please, by all means, no, give me your age. You know, tell us your age. Okay, be uh, like me. I'm actually, I'm um. I'll be celebrating my golden uh, birthday, okay, this Friday. Okay, wow, Gia, you're a millennial, Gen X, okay. Wow, maraming mga Gen X and mga millennials. Wow. Okay. Wow, Gen Z, all right, thank you. So we have a very young group, actually, no. So in, uh, in we, we all know that in today's uh, lives, so we are, everyone is uh, actually very, very active, increasingly active, digitally savvy, and intensive on adding, um, uh, use a computer, no. And because of that, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, we are actually, uh, you know, maybe complaining or suffering from some conditions, no. Um, can I, can I, uh, can I also ask from you, how many of you actually, uh, how long do you actually use your computer or your digital screen? When I say digital screen, no, it can be using the computer, tablet. Sometimes even we're at rest, no, when we're having, uh, when we're actually, uh, resting, we're actually holding our even our mobile phone, parin, you know? So, can you tell me how long do you actually uh, use your digital screen? How long in a day? Uh, are you talking about two hours, four hours, six hours, or more than eight hours? Can you write on the comment box um, how long do you actually uh, are you in front of your digital screen? Wow, Andy, ten hours. Erica, okay, more than eight hours. Average, 10 hours, okay. So it's normal na yata, ganyan na, no? Parang dati, if we're talking about, um, if, we're so, if, we're, if we're saying four hours, medyo mahaba na. Ngayon, more than eight hours. Wow, yeah, that's right, no? Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. So do you know that, you know, in um, according to the American Optometric Association, if you are actually using your, your digital screen for more than two hours, just more than two hours, you are really at a risk. You are already at a risk of computer vision syndrome. So please allow me to share my screen. And uh, you'll be able to see here that um, with a digital eye screen, uh, with a digital eye strain, it's also known as computer vision syndrome. And uh, when you say computer vision syndrome, it is actually a, a conglomerate of different signs and symptoms that you actually uh, that you actually feel. Now, when you say symptoms, these are things that you actually feel. No, so whether it is uh, you know you are suffering from some dry eye, you have headache, uh, you have uh, double vision, and because of sedentary position, sometimes we even have neck pain, back pain. We even have our our, our legs actually uh, having uh, frozen legs or frozen shoulder because of our positioning, no? And even on glare because of the too much use of the computer screen. And as mentioned, this is a condition wherein it is not only vision related, but eye related, but also, you know, ergonomically, no, the whole body is affected. So digital eye strain, also known as computer vision syndrome, also known as digital fatigue. Now, when you're talking about uh, dry eye, kasi, no, actually right now, um, you know, when you're talking about dry eye symptoms, extended use of computer, mobile phones, tablets right now is now part of the trigger of dry eye. Dati kasi hindi, no? Because usually we'd be using only our computer for two hours, four hours, and then we're done. Unless you're working in a BPO or a call center. But now because everyone is working from home, extended use of the computer, mobile phones are now triggers of dry eye, are one of the uh, common triggers right now of dry eye. And also that includes uh, wearing mask, no? And uh, of course, we all know that uh, the other normal dry eye symptoms are usually triggered by because of our age, uh, some medications that we take, women in particular usually are at risk of having dry eye, Coca uh, Asians as well. At the same time, uh, staying in a very, very dry uh, environment or hot environment also, humid environment can also cause dry eye. But of course, right now using 
uh, overuse of extended uh, screen time computers actually causes dry eye. And in a report that was seen in a digital eye strain report, it says here that by age of three, 68% of children right now regularly use a computer or, you know, at age three, 75% of actually of our, of our, of our, of our users actually use more than two or more devices. So you have your laptop, you have your tablet, you even have your mobile phone versus 53%, no? So we're very rare na to, no? that uses only one device. And eight out of 10 computer users report symptoms of digital eye strain, as mentioned, headache, uh, you know, you have a blurring of vision, you have uh, back pain, neck pain, um, all of these. And 60% actually have reduction of physical activity as well. Now, if you want to know whether you have dry eye or not, this is a very, very simple test that I would like to, let's all do this together. So if you want to know if you have dry eye, you see here there are actually 15 drops. So each drop is equivalent to one second. So what I would want you to do is I want you to stare at these uh, as a, a drop comes down. And um, if you if you're not comfortable, you know you just uh, you know if uh, I I would want you to stare and try to hold on your blink, and if you cannot, you know for whatever reason, you just just uh, you know you can just stop and uh, uh, blink, no, whenever there's discomfort. Okay, so let's start to do this one. So get ready, get set, now stare, and try to follow the drop. Don't blink. Try not to blink. All right. Now, how many of you actually, all right, how many of you actually uh, was able to hold on to that 15 seconds? Marami ba? Marami ba nakapag hold on to the 15 seconds? Or, or should I say, how many of you uh, actually have started blinking in less than 10? After the 10, after the 10 blinks, palang, the 10 seconds, you already blinked. How many of you? Can you actually help me on that? Uh, right on the on the comment box. How many of you actually blink in less than five seconds? Meron ba? Okay, 10 seconds, less than 10, all right. Okay, five seconds, well, yeah, something like me, same as me. 15, good for you, Beverly. Okay, Erica, less than 10, wow, okay. So what does that mean to us? Now, this is again a very simple test for us to determine, no? If you're actually, if you actually blink uh, uh, before uh, 10 seconds, no, within that 10 seconds, that means there's a very high probability that you're actually suffering from some type of dry eye, situ situational type of dry eye. So if it's less than five seconds, that means possible then that you're suffering from moderate, a moderate type of dry eye. So it's very important that you can check uh, among your optometrist or ophthalmologist to determine what type of dry eye you might have. If you have, you actually, if you didn't blink no, within that 15 seconds, so congratulations because you are, you are, you have a normal dry eye, you have a normal, um, tear film. And of course, you just have to monitor that, no, especially for the younger group of, uh, patients. Okay. All right. Now, what is, what is a normal blink rate? But in a normal, for example, when you're, uh, when you're not doing anything, you're just relaxing. What is a normal blink rate? So normally we bring, we blink 10 to 15 times a minute. 10 to 15 times, which is equivalent to around 14,000 times in a day. But because of, uh, again, over, uh, because of overuse of the computer, we are focusing so much, Laluna, if you're looking at numbers, we forget to blink. Sometimes we even call them as a partial blinker because we don't blink as much as we, we want, no. Okay, all of us actually, if we are, if the normal blinking rate is 10 to 15 times a minute, um, you know, this, a lot of research shows that we actually reduce by 50%, cut down by 50%. It now goes down to six to seven blinks a minute because of use of, um, because of use of uh, computers, no? So all of us actually are suffering from KSB. So hindi KS, hindi KSP, no? Kulang sa pansin, it's KSB. What is KSB? It means kulang tayo sa blink. You know, we actually forget to blink. A lot of involent, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of um, patients actually forget to blink. And because of that, because of that, we're actually suffering from dry eye, no? Because as you know, if we blink, we actually produce new tears. So if we don't blink, it actually the tears become stagnant. And of course, the problem now ar arises wherein problem starts to, uh, dry eye starts to come in no? because we're not blinking as much as we, as we need to. So there are very simple solutions that I would just like to share with you. Um, if you're having some digital eye strain and having some dry eye, we are, I'm going to share with you this blinking awareness exercise. It's actually one way of, uh, of, uh, exercise of, of coming up with some blinking exercise habits. No. So how do we do it? Very, very simple. We can do this together. First of all is I want you to close your eyes for two seconds. Now squeeze your eyes for two seconds and then open your eyes for two seconds. 
Okay, we do that again. Close your eyes for two seconds. Squeeze your eyes for two seconds. And then you open your eyes for two seconds. How does it feel? Does it feel good? Parang feeling mo ba that there are tears coming out from your eye? So that's actually, you know, because we forget to blink. So this is consciously allowing us to do the blinking exercise. This is actually done by the by uh, Dr. Corno, which is a father of dry eye, you know, teaching, teaching us how to actually do this uh, blinking exercises, okay? So you can do this five to six times uh, with repetitions, you know, three to three to five times a day. You know, as long as you feel that your eyes are tired, just don't forget to do this blinking exercise. Now, another way, of course, is what we all know about the 20 over 20 over 20 uh, breaks. Now, what does this mean? This means that for every 20 minutes, you rest for 20 seconds and you look at 20 feet, you know? Uh, so you really look at far, you break away from your, from, from your computer. Don't look at your computer, stay away from your computer. So for every 20 minutes, you know, stand up, you know, take a break, maybe, you know, drink your coffee, hug your dog, or, you know, make a sandwich. Just, just move away from your computer. So don't just close your eyes because if you close your eyes, you're actually, your eyes is not even relaxing. So what we want you really is to move away from your computer. Okay. Or just look at 20 feet. That's the most important thing of the 20 over 20 over 20 rule. Okay. Now, ergonomically, also, it plays a very important role. Since we're sitting on a computer for a long period of time, how we sit is important. Not only even for kids, you know, they stay on, uh, they, they actually uh, study uh, on their bed, you know. So what we want is, of course, correct positioning. The screen should be uh, either at eye level or 20 degrees below your eye level, okay? And we also want a distance of around 18 to 24 inches away from your monitor, 18 to 24, or more or less around arm's length distance. We don't want to go, because sometimes if it's too intense, then we tend to move closer and closer to your screen. And we have to be conscious that we have to have that 18 to 24 inches away from your, away from the monitor, you know? It's very, very important whether you're, uh, you know, you can do standing position, or of course you can do your, your uh, sitting position at the same time. Now, how about your, how about the, how about the screen lights? Of course, you know, you don't want glare uh, in front of your screen because that causes a lot of strain on your eye. Lighting is very, very important. We follow the 10 is to 3 ratio. What does that mean? It means that your screen characters, you know, the, the text on your screen actually should be 10 times brighter than your screen background. So I repeat, your screen character should be 10 times brighter than your screen background. And your room illumination is very important. Your room illumination should be three times brighter than your screen background. So be Sabinian, your room has to have has to be brighter than your than your screen. In a lot of cases, especially at nighttime, you want a very cozy environment. What happens is you turn off the light and everything, every light that comes out only comes from your, you know, the backlight comes out from your from your computer, from your mobile phone. And that is actually causing a lot of strain as well on your eye. So what we want again is you should have a good room illumination three times brighter than your screen background. And having a, you know, a good quality of air by putting a plant on your, on your environment definitely will help also secure uh, a good environment uh, within, uh, within your working space. Now, you know, um, wearing masks, uh, you know, I think everyone wears masks right now. And uh, because, you know, whether you're again working from home or you're, you're uh, working from office, everyone has to, you know, if you're working from the office now, you have to wear masks. And if you wear masks, actually this causes uh, additional strain uh, on the eye because as you wear mask, when we exhale, what happened is the air actually goes into, uh, goes up, no, into the, into our eye and it actually causes our tears to evaporate and causing it to have, uh, causing it to have dry eye as well. And because of this, now these two additional triggers of dry eye, a lot of our patients actually are suffering from one or two of these symptoms. So, so maybe uh, you can help me write on the chat box. You see all of the diff different different types of symptoms. Maybe you can tell me who among you actually have any of these symptoms when you're always in front of your computer or your screen for a long period of time. Any one of you suffering from from blurring vision? Any one of you suffering from uh, stinging sensation, having sandy or greedy feeling? Maybe you can write it down on the chat box. Okay, or foreign body sensation, or you feel there's discomfort. Or you're, you know, you feel that, uh, you, you, you know, there's one eye, okay, one particular eye, okay, that actually have excessive tearing, umiiyak, parang umiiyak yung mata mo, no, parang naluluha ka parate, or mabuhangin yung mata, namumula. So maybe you can help me write on the chat box. How many of you have all of these, have uh, any of these symptoms? Meron po ba? Meron po ba kayong, uh, symptoms of blurring of vision? Or namumula yung mata? Meron po ba? Or napapagod parate? Can you help me write? Okay, drying, yeah. 
blurriness, okay? So makita natin ano, actually uh, some of our patients can have one, two or all of the symptoms. So swerte mo if you only have one of these symptoms, no? And um amazing, okay, blurriness, all right, thank you, stinging, all right? Fatigue, yeah, yes, that's right, no. Uh, and in you know, the basic, from what we have, uh, from the circles of activations that we have done, no, uh, one of the most, the major, uh, the major uh, symptoms that actually a lot of people actually experience is blurring of vision. And uh, you know, you may be wondering, bucket blurring of vision, because you know the tears, no. As we all know, the tears is actually in front of the eye, and if if the tears is actually evaporating. Uh, it's one of the refracting medium of the eye. So it, if the tears are evaporating so much, definitely, you know, there's no, there's, uh, it actually produces a blurring of vision because um, it becomes stagnant. And uh, and especially if you're focusing, focusing, the eyes just dry, the, you know, the tears just evaporate so so fast, no? And there's also yung paghahabdi na stinging, okay? So you might be wondering, bakit stinging? Uh, bakit may paghahabdi yung mata if I have dry eye? Because our tears actually are made up of salt. So it's like if you are in a beach, di ba? If you are in a beach and you go out of the beach and you try to dry up, uh, you know, with a towel, uh, when it dries up, what happens is your eyes feels that stinging sensation, right? Because the beach water usually uh, are made up of salt, isn't it? So same as our tears. Our tears are made up of salt. So if our tears dry up, what happens is the salt is remain and that's why there is stinging sensation. Okay. Uh, some of you may have written, uh, watery eyes, no watery. Okay. You know, naluluha. So you might be wondering, dry eye na nga, doc, di ba? Bakit naluluha yung mata? It's because, you know, your eye is, to is totally dry, but your, now your brain, your eye, okay, your glands now tell your, your brain now, okay, you, you know, because your eyes is too dry, please, you know, come up, you know, please lacrimate ka, lumuha ka, lumuha ka. That's why, even if you have dry eye, okay, you actually have, you actually have, uh, you actually, um, do have symptoms of watery or nanuluhayang mata, especially for the older generation, okay? So again, these are just some, you know, symptoms that our patients will experience if they have dry eye. Now, now how many patients actually suffer from dry eye globally? So as of 2021, new research have shown that, you know, 1.4 billion people worldwide actually suffer from dry eye, 1.4 billion. That is actually one in five of the population actually suffers from dry eye. So you're not talking only of patients uh, age 40 and above. Now you're speaking of very young patients, you know, having itchy eye, they're always rubbing their eyes or they're, you know, their eyes are very dry, uh, blurry vision. So actually it's a, it's a all, 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 you know, all generation, you know, um, no age limit actually of people suffering from dry eye. And because of this dry eye, it also affects the quality of life, you know, the activities at home, even uh, sleeping at night, even the, you know, overall health of the eye is actually, um, actually is affected because of having some dry eye. Now, why is, uh, why are tears, so we're talking about dry eye, why are tears important? As we've mentioned, when we blink, new tears comes out. And if these new tears, they come out, uh, they actually provide clear vision, they provide lubrication, they actually reduce the risk of eye infection. It has actually antibodies in our tears, which prevents our eye from any infection. And of course, so because of these, uh, this tears, no, it produces, um, again, keeps the surface of the eye very smooth and actually uh, gives us that as a protective mechanism as well. Now, our, our tears actually are made up of two layers, you know, just to go deeper, you know, alam natin, our tears actually are made up of two layers. The most outer layer is actually what we call the oily layer. Meron pa ng oil, no, ating tears natin, no? So we need this oily layer on the outermost part to keep the tears from evaporating. So we need that very important oily layer, that first layer. The next layer would be the water or the mucoaqueous layer. So we have the water layer, which is the bulk of our tears. So it is a mucoaqueous gel. It provides that nutrients. So that is uh, too big, no? That's why we have that um, water layer, aqua, okay? And of course, we have the mucine, which is actually where the, alam natin, the muta, no? This is the mucine. So this actually keeps the tears as well as our eye together. It sticks the tears on the eye. So that's very important. So all this oily layer, the water layer, plus the mucino works hand in hand no, to make our tears, again, providing us with lubrication and protecting our eye from any infection at the same time. So every time we blink, new tears comes out. But what happens if there is a, you know, if there is a defect? So for example, if there, if your oil, if the oil layer, the quality of the oil is not, is not, um, if there's a problem with the quality of the oil, it means that uh, as you age, you know, usually if you age, you know, the quality of our tears actually goes down, the oil evaporates, uh, go, goes thinner. That means it, the tears evaporate faster. That's why we have what we call evaporative type of dry eye. So this is poor oily layer. 
of course, we have another type of dry eye wherein the quantity of the tears is not enough, you know? We have, um, you know, the, the water actually is not enough, no? Uh, and this is actually what we call aqueous deficiency, the aqua, yung kulang yung tubig, so aqueous deficiency dry eye. So we have either quality of the tears is, is not good, which is evaporative, okay? The, uh, the oily layer, it actually evaporates faster, or we have the, the quantity of the tears is not good, which is at aqueous deficiency. And we also have patients wherein it has both, wherein patients have evaporative type of dry eye na, at meron din siyang aqueous deficiency dry eye. So patient has what we call the mixed type of dry eye. And um, and again, an optometrist and an ophthalmologist will be the best person to see in order to identify what type of dry eye that, uh, that a patient has. And and according to studies, this is a study that's done in the University of uh, in Canada, uh, in University of Waterloo in Canada, or the Center for Ocular Research and Education. Uh, there's a condition called mask associated dry eye because of us wearing masks. Now there is again uh, the air evaporates, uh, evaporates, and you know it actually evaporates our tears, causing eye irritation and the red and and redness of the eye. And as a solution, uh, lubricants or artificial tears actually are one of the ways to alleviate dry eye due to mass associated dry eye and uh, you know research have shown that uh, you know artificial tears definitely is a mainstay treatment for dry eye and there's so much advancement right now in the treatment of uh, in the in the uh, technology of dry eye and uh, it's very important that we know what type of dry eye actually do we have and if you go to a pharmacy or you go to a drugstore, you know, or you go to an optical clinic, there's an array of different artificial tears available. So not all artificial tears are the same. They're not equal. So it depends on the viscosity. It depends whether it is treated. It's for aqueous deficiency or for evaporative type of dry eye. There are lubricants, which is, which has preservative and preservative free. Uh, there are different mechanism of actions for each type of artificial tears. At the same time, the most important thing is that artificial tear that you use should be able to reduce or alleviate dry eye symptoms that you have. I know that very common, you know, you, you know what we have are the, the common ones would be like Visine, would be um, uh, IMO. But again, what we're talking right now here is the real cause of dry eye. So these, uh, you know, the those, uh, you know, Visines and, and uh, IMO may, may just alleviate dry eye, but you know, what we want to know really is how can it really um, uh, alleviate the problem, okay? We want to go into the cause of the dry eye, which is important. So what are the important things of an, a good artificial tear? First thing first, it should be able to uh, provide minimal blur, okay? Because when you put it on, when you actually instill on the eye, it should be able to dissipate quickly uh, on the eye. Uh, you'll be able to have comfort upon installation, okay? And again, ability to spread evenly over the eye. Uh, very, very important here is it actually have to have retention on the eye longer for extended period of time because we don't want you to be putting, you know, or instilling drops, you know, every, every 20 minutes or every 30 minutes, right? It should be able to uh, stay longer on the eye. And that's very, very important. And at the same time, most importantly, to be able to improve your symptoms, no, your dry eye symptoms. So you see there are two types of sustain. These are actually my go-to products on sustain. And um, there are other, uh, there are actually, uh, artificial, there are actually uh, artificial tears in bottle form, which is with preservatives, and they're also in shoot form, which is, uh, these are those without preservatives. So, so these are what we call the unidose. So one, one unidose is actually good for a day, for good for, good, good for one day use. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, as a practitioner, um, you know, I see a lot of uh, dry eye patients and, and my go to product actually sustain, no? And the reason is because uh, it has this, uh, intelligent delivery system wherein uh, it has uh, what we call an, an, an inactive ingredient, which is HP Guar. This HP Guar actually is like a is a gelling agent that forms um, on the on the dry uh, on on that surface of the eye, which is dried. So it forms a uh, a gel matrix, which helps maintain the moisture, which is a uh, you know polyethylene glycol and propylene glycol. These are in the moisturizing agent because what we want uh, what we don't want again is to be you know putting drops every twenty minutes or every thirty minutes. We want a lubricant where it, it can stay longer on the eye. And Sustain being an intelligent delivery system, so uh, the HP Guar actually depends on how severe your dry eye is. So if your if your dry eye is more severe, the gelling agent actually stays longer on the eye as compared to if you have a mild dry eye. So it works, that's why it's called an intelligent delivery system. It works according to the the severity of your of your dry eye. So just to show you how it works, okay, so this um, so as you've mentioned, as you've seen, we have, um, you know, uh, we have a rough uh, ocular surface or a tear film. So when you actually instill these uh, sustained eye drops on the eye, 
HB guar, you know, and uh, what we call the borate, they form a jelly matrix, you know, a, ma a matrix or a bandage, okay, you can call it a bandage, and it actually provides an extended protection and retains retains that uh, that moisturizing agent longer on the eye, rebuilding that tear film. It replenishes the dry surface of the of the tear film. Okay. All right. So different types of uh, lubricants again for different types of uh, conditions. So we have uh, we have lubricants for for um, evaporative dry eye as mentioned. We have lubricants for aqueous deficiency if you have if the problem is quantity, and we also have drops wherein it can be used for both types of problems or mixed type of dry eye. Okay. So in the sustained family, we're able to see again that we have an array of uh, dry eye. Uh, products or for different types of, uh, of dry eye. But the base treatment that we usually give to our patients is the Sustain Ultra. Uh, this is used for um, any type of, uh, this is used for, um, for uh, you know, for uh, initially for digital problems, you, know, you can use, uh, you know, Sustain Ultra. Now we also have uh, preservative free. Uh, you can use this for, for patients who are, who are using drops for more than five to six times a day. Uh, this is again preservative free. We also have what we call the sustained uh, balance, which is used for patients who are over 50 years of age who have what we call the meibomian gland dysfunction. The oily layer is affected, so this is this contains oil, so it can be it can when you still on the eye it can be a bit blurry uh, in the first hand to to replenish that oily layer. Uh, we have the newest part of the family, which is the sustained complete. This is the for all types of dry eye, but that's why it's called sustained complete, and we have. Sustained hydration for a more severe type of dry eye, and we even have sustained gel drops, which you can use at night time. So again, uh, you know, different types of uh, sustained eye drops for different types of dry eye. Now, how how many times do you have to drop? Uh, usually, we put uh, you know three to four times a day. So um, it was proven in a in a study that uh, that says that if you actually use sustained uh, ultra, for example, for three months, usually. Uh, you'll be able to see that uh, staining, which we, we usually find you know, in uh, on the patient's eye, it will be 95% will be reduced, and the per percentage of comfort, 75% of patients will have, uh, whether they're watching TV or using the computer, will be having comfort 75% longer. We will have 75% will be able to read longer, and at the same time, 61% will be able to drive better at nighttime. So this is just a picture of my boy. Actually, uh, she, he uses two computer. And I would always have a sustained ultra in front of him and also a post-it note that says that, you know, uh, Robin, don't forget to blink. At the same time, don't forget to use your lubricant. Okay. So I put there AM, you know, what time? AM, lunchtime, and at the same time, 5 PM, just for him not to forget to use uh, his lubricants. Okay. Now, how about for patients who are using um, contact lenses, especially right now, we work from home. Is it, you know, if I'm having some dry eye, can I still use uh, com contact lenses? Definitely yes. Or you, at this pandemic, can I use contact lenses? Definitely yes, no. So we can use contact lenses, preferably we want daily disposable contact lenses because it, you know, it's safer at the same time, we don't have to clean your lenses anymore. But also you can use, uh, in, but of course you can use those monthly disposable lenses uh, for long R use. We have the air optics, which is silicone hydrogel material, for which is breathable. Uh, there are also premium contact lens solutions, uh, which can provide longer moisture, even if you're using your con your your um, uh, mobile, your computer long period of time. And of course, don't forget to use your wetting drops, uh, Sustate Ultra, for example, uh, which you can use it with contact lenses on. And, uh, you know, we actually, uh, you know, because of this pandemic, um, Alcon actually collaborated with, uh, one of the, uh, top optometric associations in the Philippines to actually promote, um, wellness, no, uh, and especially for people who actually rub their eyes because of dry eye. So let's all watch this, uh, to be able to, again, uh, to identify or what to do in case you have dry eye. Let us work together to prevent the spread of germs by touching. If your eyes feel dry or itchy, you might be having dry eye symptoms. Use a lubricating eye drop or relief instead of rubbing your eyes. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. 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 Don't drop. Just drop. All right, so it means that if your eyes still itchy, okay, it, you might be suffering from some dry eye problem. Don't rub, just drop. Okay, so don't let the computer put a strain on you. Stop them before they stop you. Okay. 
All right. That was wonderful, Dr. Jana. Thank you for enlightening us about the factors affecting dry eye, how it affects our quality of life, and more, most importantly, how to manage it. So we would like to ask you or invite you to like our Facebook and Instagram page. Um, for Facebook, you may search Sustain Philippines. Type in, like, and, and, and follow. Uh, follow us on Instagram at SustainPH. And we, we also have a, a mechanic or, or a promo, which we're giving away free sustained samples for the first five participants who will uh, send in their entry. So a screenshot of, of, uh, uh, of the following by liking our Facebook page and following our Instagram page, like our most recent post, comment uh, hashtag grab sustain or hash and hashtag grab sustain plus your company name and tag three of your friends. So uh, all of you out there in, in the watching in YouTube, uh, you can join and participate by sending in your screenshot of the following. So by liking our Facebook page and following our Instagram page. So like our most recent post. Number three, comment, hashtag grab sustain, hashtag drop sustain, plus your company name and tag three of your friends. So kung sino yung pinaka nauna, so first five will get three samples of a uh, sustain ultra uh, for those winners you can send it uh, to the messenger of our facebook page sustain philippines so our uh, administrator will determine who the first five persons uh sent who sent their their entries so sustain philippines for facebook and at sustain ph for uh instagram all right We'll, we'll see your entries and we will send in uh, to Miss Erica who the top five participants are. So now we're here in the frequently asked questions. We collected some frequently asked questions from the clinics and from our previous activations so that you may also be asking at the back of your mind. So before we ask, uh, you, you, before we entertain your questions, let's go first to the FAQs. So first on the list, how many times should I drop in a day? Dr. Jana will help us answer the question. Yeah, usually I would tell my patients to drop sustain, for example, three to four times a day. Okay, so that's it, three to four times a day. Is there an overdose of sustain drops? Yeah, that's a very common question is if there's an overdose. Actually, there's no overdose of sustained eye drops because it doesn't contain any steroids. But if you are a person who's actually dropping more than four to five times already, first thing first is I would want you to, to you know, to visit your optometrist or ophthalmologist. And uh, maybe, uh, you know, another point is, of course, you know, the, uh, to identify what type of dry eye do you have. And in another case is, of course, you can actually use those preservative free just to be sure that uh, there's not much preservatives on your eye. Thank you, Dr. Jana. How much is the price of Sustain Ultra? Yes, um, actually, I th yeah. Yes, yes, uh, Mike, I think it's around 240 for a 5 ml. Okay, 240 pesos for 5 ml variant. Yeah, that's good for one month. For one month. Next question, can I purchase Sustain Ultra over the counter, Dr. Jana? Yes, uh, Sustain Ultra is readily available over the counter, so you can get them uh, over a drugstore, pharmacy, or even in the optical clinics at the same time. Next question, do I need to consult an optometrist or an ophthalmologist before uh, I use Sustain Ultra? Yes, ideally, uh, of course, we have to, ideally, if you can, you can do teleconsult, telemed with your optometrist or ophthalmologist uh, for you, for them to identify from your, from your symptoms, whether, you know, what type of dry eye do you have? Um, so that's the, that's the most ideal scenario is to have your eyes consulted first. 
All right. So next question, can I use cysteine in conjunction with other prescribed eye drops? This is, for instance, when I have uh, a glaucoma drop or, or an anti-infective, can I use it doc, uh, uh, side by side with cysteine? Uh, yes, you can. Actually, um, if, for example, you're using um, uh, med, uh, you know, um, anti-glaucoma, for example, eye drops, uh, we would encourage you to use Cysteine uh, Ultra mm -hmm. Unidose. Those, those are with preservative free. And we would also want an interval of around 10 minutes uh, interval before you use uh, Cysteine. So better use preservative free because the other eye drops already have preservatives. Thank you, Dr. Jana. Our next question, can I use Cysteine while wearing contact lens? So this is uh, when it is on. So can I drop it, Dr. Jana? Yeah, definitely. Like I'm wearing contact lenses right now. So I use my sustain even if I'm wearing my contact lenses. Very nice. Next will be, can I can sustain be used as a contact lens solution? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so definitely uh, sustain is an artificial tear. So it's, it's there to elevate fast symptom relief of dry eye, you know, for sustain, no. But it so for contact lens solution, it must have the right, you know, uh, the right disinfection, the right cleaning. So there is a separate uh, solution for that, like OptiFree Pure Moist or AOC Plus, and those are the things that you can use. All right, thank you for that. Next question: Can sustain be used for kids? Um, well, actually, um, you know, in my uh, as a as a practitioner, um, I believe there's no minimum age limit actually for sustain as long as uh, as long as they start using digital devices i think you know they can be given lubricants already and uh, preservative free definitely is much safer all right thanks dr jana and now uh we will entertain questions from the workplace so uh dr uh, miss erica tan uh, collected some of the questions from from your team so Ms. Erica will be flashing the questions. Question number one is how effective are anti-glare glasses for a person who has a 2020 vision? Dr. Jenna will help us answer. Okay. Um, if if I if you are 2020 vision, but you're always in front of your computer, uh, an anti-glare lens uh, from the word itself actually is to be able to reduce the glare. Normally, uh, normally the light coming from the computer is actually scattered. So having an anti-glare lens actually will help um, convene or make the light actually better. So it would definitely help you even if you are 2020. Okay. Question number two, can someone already wearing eyeglasses still experience digital eye strain or dry eyes? Uh, yes, definitely. You know, even if you're wearing eyeglasses, you can experience that. Even if you're wearing contact lens, because again, when you're using the computer, you're too focused on your computer, you forget to blink. And again, we blink 14,000 times a day. As long as we, when we use the computer, when we use the computer, it goes down by 50%. And we have to take, we, we know we have to take care of that, of that, uh, of, uh, of our tears, you know, just to be sure that it doesn't dry up. So definitely it, it still, it will still cause dry eye. Thank you, Dr. Janan. Question number three, is it advisable to turn on the black screen format on our devices? Um, I'm not sure what is the black screen format. Is it the blue filter? Because I think some of the, if it's a blue filter uh, on your on your mobile phone or on your on your uh, tablet, then definitely if it's, if you're talking about the, the blue filter light screen, no, definitely it can help you uh, on, uh, in case, no, just to be sure that, um, you know, no blue light, you know, extensive blue light will come, will, you know, those blue light will not actually enter our eye. Dr. Jana, it's like similar to the dark mode uh, for the phone apps for, yeah. So Yes, that's right. Mm -mm. Parang yung dark mode, that's right. Oh. Kasi ang habol naman natin, actually, it's not only the light, you know, because we know that the blue light coming from mobile phones or computers are not very strong. But the problem is the long time. The, the problem right now is the uh, overextended use of computer and the proximity, you know, the, 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 the long time as well as the, the closeness of yourself to the computer. That's what's actually causing the problem of digital eye strain and causing the dry eye. Thank you, Dr. Jana. And we're next, uh, down to our 
our question number six, which one is more advisable using eyeglasses or contact lenses when one has a long screen time? So this is a question which can be answered by Dr. Jan. Well, actually, why do you have to, you don't, you don't have to choose. You can wear eyeglasses or you can wear contact lenses, which you prefer. Uh, for me personally, I wear contact lenses from morning till night. No? So I, so whether you're wearing glasses or wearing contact lenses, um, it doesn't really matter as long as you are protected. So again, we want to be sure that any digital eye strain that you may have uh, would be uh, would be relieved by using artificial tears, for example, or by doing the 20 over 20, then you are fine. So both are both eyeglasses and contact lenses are okay. All right, thanks you. Thanks, Dr. Jana. Do we still have more questions, Ms. Erica? Question number seven, which cysteine is the most effective? <laughs> hmm. <Yeah. laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Actually, um, all the cysteine products are effective depending on the type of uh, dry eye. Um, so if you don't know what type of dry eye you are, we have a new, uh, you know, I, uh, we have a new product that I prescribe, which is Sustain Complete. So that's for all types of dry eye. Uh, but of course, the, the 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 base treatment that we that you know I also prescribe is the Sustain Ultra, and uh, you know you can use both. But again, depending on your type of dry eye, your doctor will tell you which one will be the most effective. All right. Question number eight: How effective is flaxseed on dry eyes? What is yeah, I've flaxseed heard the yeah, I've heard about this, no? So it's a, a flaxseed on dry eye. It's like a, it's like vitamins, parene. It's like a kumbaga herbal type, no? To prevent dry eye. It's, there's no harm in trying it, in using it. Um, I, 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 I do, you know, put flax seeds on my, on the food, or, you know, you can also do omega or drink, or take omega-3 vitamins in order to prevent also dry eye. Okay. Next question. Any tips for eye care people who use toric lenses? I haven't found one that is disposable. Do I have other options? Oh, actually, uh, toric lenses or monthly toric lenses and daily toric lenses are all available. So um, uh, you can actually visit. Uh, I'm not sure of your. Although I'm not sure of your of your power. Uh, usually, the power is up to minus two hundred fifty. Still in, you know, astigmatism. So if you are within that range, then you can use the daily storic or the uh, or the air optics uh, for astigmatism. They are readily available, actually. Okay, so I, I guess we, we we that that will be our last question. But before we go, Doc, I have a question. I have a question from myself. Uh, since we are all on a work from home arrangement, so. Uh, after working for eight hours or more in, in my screen, uh, flashed in my eyes. So can I wash it after after working from the computer for, for long hours? My face yeah, so, <laughs> so that's also, uh, I consider that as a myth. No? People think that if you work long hours, you, know, you cannot wash your face. No, uh, But with the condition right now, if you work from the office and then you come home, you know, I would just wash my face with warm water and that's fine. So I believe it's a myth. You really have to wash your face. Yeah. All right. There's no problem with that. For, yeah. for telling us uh, the answer, especially now that COVID cases are, are rising. So it is essential to wash your face, wash your hands, wash everything when, when, we, when you came outside. So for us to be safe and, and to avoid the disease during this pandemic. And now we are on the fun part. So this is the session wherein we will be needing your active participation. So aside from the samples that we're giving away for, for the Facebook uh, session, so we're giving away uh, a sustained pack. So it includes CIS-1 Sustain Ultra and multivitamins Vitalux Plus for every winner who chats in the, the answer. First, first person to chat in the, the answer in the comment section in the U YouTube live uh, session. So, uh, paunahan to. So, this is a test of the fastest fingers. 
So for every one question, there is one winner who will get a uh, multivitamin Vitalax, which is kailangan na kailangan natin ngayon during this time of the pandemic, and Sustain Ultra, which is kailangan din natin because we are on mostly on a work from home arrangement. Are you ready, people, from from the from the session in YouTube? I guess your function, uh, your your keyboards already are functioning, all of you. So, are you ready? Mukhang ready na sila. Nag nagre ready na yung, key, yung mga fingers nila. Okay, so we will start in with our first question in three seconds. In five seconds, five, four, three. Two, one. Our first question is how many times should I drop cysteine in a day? Please key in your answers in the chat box in, in, in YouTube Live. How many times should I drop cysteine in a day? Meron na bang sumagot? Yon, meron na ko nakita. Miss Gladys Montehermoso, three to four drops. Tama ba ito? Three to four in a day. Mr. Ricky Sibong Hanoy. Mr. Clint Cavales. So, puro three to four. Miss Becca Hakobi. Four yung sagot na. Okay, so, I guess, merong tamang sagot. What is the answer? Three to four times in a day. So, Mukang si Miss Gladys yung nakuha ng tamang sagot. Congratulations. You get uh, the prize for multivitamins, Vitalox, and Cystein Ultra 5 ML. Congratulations, though. We're, we are down to our second question. So our second question, please be ready for those who did not uh, get to win for our first question. Our second question will be flashed in three Two, one. How many times should you blink in a minute? Again, how many times should you blink in a minute? That is our second question. How many times should you blink in a minute? So please key in your answers in the comment section in YouTube. There, I, 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 we, we have. Uh, person who chat in, chatted in his answer, Mr. Christian Herrera, he said 22. Is that correct? Any more, any more entries? Miss Gladys Monte Hermoso, 15. Okay. Anna Shello, three to four times. Mukhang delayed yung answer ni Miss Anna for the first question. Ah. So, Miss, Mr. Christian Herrera, 12. Oh, may dalawang entry si Mr. Christian Herrera. Meron na bang tamang sagot, Mr. Allen? And the answer is 10 to 15 times. Hmm. <laughs> Merong 10, May 15. So we'll determine later who, who is the uh, winner. So later, Miss Erica and Mr. Allen will, will help us determine who the winner is for our second question. Okay, we have to move on with our third question. Our third question will be flashed in three, two, one. Which cysteine product is the most commonly prescribed by doctors? Again, our third question is which cysteine product is the most commonly prescribed by doctors? Please key it uh, in the comment section in the YouTube session. Which cysteine product is the most commonly prescribed by doctors? It was discussed by, by Dr. Jana in her slide recently, so madaming cysteine. Meron ng sumagot. So we, we, we got answers from Christian, Anna, Ricky, and Becca, all, all answering Sustain Ultra in the chat box. So I guess we have the right answer with that. Our correct answer is our 
Our correct answer is Sistain Ultra. Congratulations. So clearly it is Mr. Christian Herrera who won third question. Congratulations for winning the Alcon Pack. Congratulations. And thank you for participating with our fun part. And to support your journey to try sustain, we have good news. So our optical shops are offering 50% uh, off on Sustain Econo Pack. Uh, when you buy free Sustain Ultra, you get a chance to save 50 pesos. So you, 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 all you have to do is go to your nearest uh, optical shops available in your place. So in the malls, we have, uh, we have also optical shops available in Ideal Vision. And whichever whichever optical shops that you are uh, you prefer to go, so we have this uh, promo. And next, uh huh. So Sustain Ultra is also available in in Watson's online. So at the benefit of your keyboards and your computers, you can shop Sustain Ultra by clicking. Uh, www.watsons.com.ph and also it is a bit the link is available also in our facebook page in, in every post that we post in facebook there is a link uh to the landing page for sustain for watsons and it is also available in in south star drug online and all mercury drug branches available nationwide so please don't forget like and follow us on Sustain Philippines. Follow us on Instagram at SustainPH. All right. And to announce our winners for, for our quiz earlier. So our winners are Ms. Gladys Montehermoso, Mr. Christian Herrera, and Ms. Ana Shello Obliandia. So congratulations to the three of you. We will send in your prize to Miss Erika Tan together with the winners of our earlier uh, uh, exercise uh, for the first five participants who performed uh, the like and subscribe page on our Facebook and Instagram. And now, so. All right, I guess uh, there is already no more slide in ahead of us. So this is the part when we say thank you to everyone. So thank you, Dr. Jana, for, for always enlightening us with, with the uh, how, how we can combat dry eye in the workplace. workplace. And thank you also to Ms. Erica for letting us uh, participate in this venture of yours in, in educating your employees. Uh, Dr. Jana, do you uh, have anything more for, for our audience? Yeah, um, I hope that uh, with this, uh, you know, on our one hour webinar, and then we were able to share with you the importance of our eye, uh, of eye health. And, uh, you know, our workplace, a busy career actually has no time for dry eye. And uh, again, in my practice, I, I would definitely prescribe Sustain Ultra for my patients you know, just to be sure that they won't suffer from digital eye strain. And I hope too that you'll try this um, uh, this product you know, because um, it would really um, help you uh, in your struggle from uh, digital eye strain. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's it from us. Again, happy birthday, Dr. Jana, and to everyone in, in the live stream. Um, Ingat kayo and uh, COVID is still there. So please uh, practice uh, physical distancing and all, all the guidelines that has been be, uh, being uh, uh, presented by, by our uh, COVID task force. So that's all for me. Thank you very much, Miss Erica. Thank you very much. And we hope.